Oh my god. It's been like forever. It feels like forever. Um, so, what's up everyone? Um, I think it's been since June since I've done a vlog and I would like to apologize guys. Um, if you haven't noticed, I've been like so slacking on everything like all summer. Um, I think the last time I did a vlog I answered a couple questions and put up a poll and whatnot about, you know, the Ebico show, which I'll talk about later. But, and I had a contest thing going on and all this other stuff, which I will tell you all later, I promise. And, you know, I'm probably like the number one person for like apologizing for stuff I have not done yet. But, I have to say, all summer I've been having this creative black, like, no motivation to, like, do anything. I, I don't know what was wrong, I just had, like, this block. Like, I'll have all of these ideas and things that I need to take care of, especially on the blog, and I would feel overwhelmed and then I would, like, not do them. And I'm slowly working on that now. Um, I just finished, um, Question a couple things and to my homework. I'm kind of waiting to, before I submit it and whatnot, but that's completely irrelevant. But anyway, as you can see, I'm not home. I'm back in Denton for school. Yeah, so that started about, I don't know, three weeks, three or four weeks ago. Um, as you can see, this place is different. It's not my dorm. I have my own apartment and I'm loving it, especially now I got cable so I can connect to the world a little bit more. Um, a lot of things have been happening and I've been wanting to do a vlog for quite some time, uh, especially these past few days because a lot of things have been happening in the um, Asian entertainment industry. And I haven't been able to get around to it due to my schedule with school. Trying to catch up, but uh, like fit homework into my life while still trying to relax and whatnot. And I'm learning a new language, so yeah, I'm I'm still adjusting. So please forgive me, be patient, and I will definitely catch up on everything I want to do, and I'll fill you in on the updates. So before I start with all the things I want to talk about, at least all the stuff that I can remember I wanted to talk about earlier, I'll tell you that you'll have to, you'll have a choice on what you want to listen to first. Um, I'll be putting those annotations on the screen somewhere. I'm not sure where. And you can decide what you want to listen to. So first I will start with a uh, little bit of K-pop. Uh, the whole Psy thing and his popularity with Gangnam Style in America. Now I know this is like very old news, but it's still hot. Like um, when it first came out, a friend sent me the link to it and I was very reluctant maybe resistant to watching it at all because okay I don't know if I should say this or not but I am not a side fan at all I mean I tried and I'm just like eh, I can't get into it um I think it's because well, one of the songs he was popular for at the time that I first listened to him it kind of bothered me because I didn't think it was all like great and then I turned into like Love Sonny, if you didn't know that. And I think they have like a similar, you know, tactic to their uh, hip hop thing. Like they're both kind of goofy, not very like fit and like pretty like idols and whatnot, and they know how to make fun of themselves. But anyway, so one day, I guess the next day after she sent it to me, I think that was like the first day it came out, she gave, she gave me the link and I didn't watch it. The next day, I watched it, and surprisingly, I really liked it. So, of course, just like the super boom shakalaka, wow, fantastic baby was all over my Tumblr, and 
it was kind of annoying. <laughs> when you get like, I don't know, when things get oversaturated with like one thing and you're just constantly force fed that same thing over and over and over again, it can wear on you. Like, call me maybe. People hate that song and it was like really really popular and that's all you would hear. So that's what so yeah, I did enjoy it for maybe a few days and then when I heard it went viral, like people in America were catching on, like celebrities were tweeting about it and now he's on like T V shows and whatnot and I think it's hilarious, but then when my other my friends that are not really into K-pop started sending me links and seeing all the Gundam style flash mob meetups at cons or just random places and parodies off of different things like Avatar and My Little Pony and all their stuff. I was getting really annoying. Like I could not, I couldn't take it anymore. And right now at the point, I hate the song. I hate it so much. I can't stand it anymore. I don't want to hear it ever again. And every time anyone posts, posted on my Facebook wall, like different parodies, whatever, I don't watch it. I completely avoid it. I'm sorry. I'm tired of the damn song. And I think his the hype around it is. Not a very good one, actually. I mean, I don't think it's gonna help or change anything because clearly, a lot of sometimes, from the few things I did see with him, like appearing on with like TV show host or whatever, it seems like he's just treated as like another William Hung. I know people have said this before, but I completely agree. I think he's gonna turn into a one-hit wonder. I mean, I don't want that for him, even though I'm not a fan of him, but it'd be nice, you know, for the American music industry to know that, you know, K-pop is, you know, good, even though I'm not a fan, but there is some quality and they should be given a chance and not, you know, labeled to these Asian stereotypes, but sadly, I think, I don't think Sai is gonna break that. Uh, especially, like, um, I'm gonna put a link to the Ellen show if you have not seen it. That was embarrassing to watch. Like, seriously embarrassing because, I mean, I can like ignore that Simon didn't want to do the dance, but this made me lose some points for like Ellen and I think she's really cool. But he came out, he did the little dance, dance monkey dance. And he had to stop and say, well, can I introduce myself and not just do the dance? And um, I just felt so ashamed and embarrassed that this, this should show that we're not really treating him like a person, just another, you know, William Hong, another monkey, another puppet for just our laughter and entertainment and not really understanding, you know, He's more than just, you know, the Gundam style guy. I mean, he's been in the industry for quite some time, and I think people should check that out. I'm in other artists. Ignoring the fact that I am not a fan of size or K-pop, I just simply listen to it. But still, I think that's very important, and I'm just kind of sad, you know? So, maybe, you know, it'll prove me wrong since he signed up with what Justin Bieber's agent or something and people might you know give in to you know other stuff other than that one song but I don't know might change anyway so um I guess I'll keep going with K-pop I promise you this isn't all about K-pop I just can't do it there's not much I want to say about it um, uh, when is Tierra's comeback with uh, Sexy Love? I did like the song. It's pretty cool. I liked the dance video. That was nice. The story drama one was kind of boring and stupid and way overproduced. It, was, it just seemed like a waste of money Like as soon as videos. Like, no, the exo teasers. That's what it felt like. Like, oh, we got all this money, you know, let's 
throw it all in, make some really awesome costumes, get them some weapons training, get some nice weapons, get some good editing and effects and uh, and vehicles and setting and all this stuff. So, I don't know, I was kind of... I'm still at Sierra Van and the situation is quite um, unfortunate. I'm not gonna go into detail on in it because I already talked about it on my blog. So if you want to check that out, the link's gonna be below, of course. And you can go see what I thought about the whole Tierra situation. But I honestly think they should have waited a little longer before, it can, even though it's supposed to continue the story, but still, it's kind of touchy. And your sales aren't going to be that good. I mean, you might get a lot of hits on YouTube because haters plague and they just want to leave negative comments everywhere so you're going to get views from them and people that support them are going to get views from them. But as for actual purchases of the CD whatnot, probably won't. It'll be lower than normal. So, I thought it was too soon. I think they should have waited even though I guess it would be a little weird because they would have to. It's supposed to continue the story from day by day, but still, it's kind of. I don't know. It seems a bit disrespectful or something. I can't think of the word. It just doesn't seem right, like appropriate. Um. Next is, I, I guess, I'll bump them together. G Dragon's mini album got released. Uh, it's alright, I guess. Uh, some are review lists. We got a lot of things to review, guys. Um, so please anticipate that. Um, we released two videos. I think he's gonna have a third for like crayon or something. Um, I don't. I guess I'm not that popular. I don't get a lot of heat about this, but on my recommendations, I did not pick either of his new videos for reasons. Yeah, you just have to wait for those reasons when I review the mini album. So, it is interesting, I guess. I just had problems with one thing or another. They just have to be nearly perfect. It doesn't have to be flawless, you know, for me to recommend them, but I'm, I'm sure he doesn't need, you know, me promoting his stuff to get more views. I mean, he already has a horde of fangirls and fanboys, so me recommending doesn't change anything. So, uh, on a related note, the Sungri scandal. My thoughts on that. <laughs> so much of a scandal. It really isn't. Like, I, I didn't get it. Like, when I read it in two places, like, the titles in two different places, and then watched, uh, like, Daily PSS video about it, it, I'm like, what, where, where's the scandal? Like, seriously. What, what's, what's the scandal? I mean, I, I don't get it. Especially, I mean, okay. So, yeah, some sex scandal, whatever, that he slept with some girl, and I guess it was not the usual thing, like there was some choking and some other stuff. I'm not gonna go into detail about it, but I'm like, what's the big deal? I mean, Japan has tentacle porn, and other weird little fetishes and whatnot. I mean, most people wouldn't complain about this unless he was like really abusive or violent or whatever and she didn't like it. I think, I don't know, this is probably wrong, but I'm gonna blame the girl because I don't think Sangre would have done something like that. I mean, he could have, but even then, I don't even think that's a big of a deal. Um, one of the jokes was me and my friend was saying, I bet it's that same girl that got choked out by Wataru. <laughs> so, it could be, I don't know, she needs to like stay home, not, you know, be around celebrities apparently, because she'll just get choked out. She must not be doing something right then. I mean, this is a, that's, I, I'm getting sure it's horrible. I do not promote abuse at all, but I mean, just this whole scandal thing is like, it's not a scandal at all, like, 
it really isn't. I mean, it doesn't happen. So I think she just wants attention or something. So hey, this might be like a new like turn on for some Sungry fans or something to like him, but uh, not me. So anyway. I wanted to move on to some J-Rock stuff, since I mentioned with Haru, yes, Ichini, Zero Ichini is releasing a new, I think, single or something, I'm really, really, really looking forward to it since, um, their album was an interesting new direction for them, especially since they joined Free Will, and it definitely had some, like, remnants of kind of sort of Durham Gray or something, especially in their new song, I forgot what it was called, was it like, Suicide or something? But, um, I believe that's on my review list too, I'm so sorry, I am the worst. But, um, seems like they're releasing a new single, and they're changing labels again. I don't know what's going on, but... Hope they work it out, and I'm looking forward to the single or whatever it is they're releasing. Um, I also wonder what, uh, since, uh, let's see, they used to be on this label, Undercode. Uh, they and Kazaki announced that they would be closing Undercode's doors and after their 10 year anniversary next year, and I am quite sad, but honestly, not surprised because. I used to be a die-hard Undercode fan. Like I really loved like a bunch of bands from that from that label, and a lot of them broke up or graduated. So I was running out of bands to really like, and currently the only bands I like on there. Uh, I guess I can still count Dally because they haven't broken up yet. But yeah, they're disbanding, so that's one. Um, Nega, of course, because that's what the blog names come from. Uh, Ren, somewhat, and apparently Chariots is coming back, so I like four. Everyone else in the label sucks. Like, visually, they're nice. Like, I know Undercoat probably produces <clears throat> the best costumes in the visual kit industry. Like, the quality just seems so high, and this was after I watched Dally Should Pre. I was just like, wow, you know. They really, really put a lot of effort in their costumes. Like, comparing it to PS Company, which was a label I used to really like before I realized how scummy and gross they are, they put a lot more effort in their costumes than PSC. So, and obviously, PSC has more money and undercoats more of an indie's label, so I don't know. I think they produce better quality things than PSC, but I mean, it doesn't matter now because they're closing their doors next year, which is sad. So, all this crazy idea, I don't know how many people that follow my blog or here that actually are following my Tumblr, but I mentioned that I think <laughs> that Ren Chariots, uh, Nega, and maybe even Dally, but mostly those three that are still around should join Godchild, which is D's label, which I think like Asagi owns or something. Just join them because Asagi and Kasaki have history together because they were in a band, Syndrome, and then they can plot together on how to still doubt and born and make them join Godchild so they can be better. But that's just me and my crazy little. I guess fangirl plot because I don't know you know my qualms against PSC and how they're treating the bands but um anyway I will save that for later um also there was another scandal concerning Gak and his taxes and him stealing money from the fan club and he might have like a secret wife and child or something. I didn't read the whole thing. I just thought it was funny. So I I don't know what's going on with him and like his little personal life and I'm still, you know, laughing my ass off off of the whole I might be dating iconics. Oh. oh, I don't know. I think I'll ask him when I see him tonight. Yeah, them too. They're funny. I love them both. I mean if they hook up I approve, man. Um, I approve, like, 
Kodakumi and uh, Kenjiro. That was a great coupling right there. Mis and Jin, pff, that is falling apart. Like, Jin, geez, this career is gone. Or near gone, but I don't know. I'm not even gonna go into that. So, yeah, I'm, I don't have much to say about Gak, I'm sorry. Um, lastly, there was like this uh, Gazette fan war thing after Division was released. That was ridiculous. It made me laugh in some way, but... Because most like fan wars I can laugh at because a lot of the stuff that they argue about is ridiculous. What's what, like, the Dern Grey... Visual, visual or non-visual, which one's better? Or you're not a real Lincoln Park fan if you don't appreciate all of Lincoln Park? Yeah, these little things are just dumb. So this is kind of it was amusing at first, but then when it got to the point when fans felt really guilt, when fans were guilt tripping other fans about how loyal and dedicated they are and stuff. That wasn't a good thing, and um, I don't want to get into too much detail about it because I'm working on an act on a gazette post. Like I really am working on it. I started work like writing it out and stuff. And I have a lot to say about it, but I might change my mind on whether I want to post it or not. But I'll get to that in just a moment. So anyway, that's all the news I can think of for the moment, and. Since this video is like so long, um, I am going to leave an, an extra annotation for you guys to check out so you can see all the little, so you can hear all the little new details and whatnot I want to do and with this channel and the blog because I'm, I really would like you guys, your guys, you guys as uh, input. So please, 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 please check it out and leave input because I really want to uh, I'm trying to make this thing sound perverted, but I want to do stuff for you guys, you know, because um, sure this is fun for me, but I also want to, you know, give back because I've gotten a lot of things from you guys. So, so please check out the next part of the video and I'll see you there.